there was some speculation that you might turn to politics yourself uh, and run for the uh, U.S. Senate. But now one of your dinner companions, Kid Rock, apparently is going to make the race in the Republican column. Uh, he appears to be ahead in the, uh, in the race for the uh, Republican nomination to take on incumbent Debbie Stabenow. In fact, uh, the ABC affiliate in Detroit, WXYZ, went out to talk to people on the street, and they had an overall positive reaction. Uh, let's look and listen. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Donald Trump got elected, so he can too. <laughs> I think we need more people that really know about politics, especially with what we're going through. I mean, I feel if it's a dream or desire of yours, go for it. And uh, going for it is what Kid Rock apparently is going to do. Have you proffered any advice to Kid Rock about that race for the Senate? Boy, J.D., am I glad I'm here to address this point. You need me to address this point. I want you to pay close attention. I want the GOP to play cl pay close attention. My friend Bob Ritchie never thought, never hinted, never mentioned, never gave any consideration whatsoever to running for public office. Some goofball in the Michigan GOP just pulled it out of their ass and said, what about Kid Rock? Meanwhile, Kid Rock's rocking and rolling. He's touring. He's writing songs. He's recording. He's got a full-time job. And he's a great man. And quite honestly, I know, Bob, I know Kid Rock. He would make a much improved representative in Michigan and elsewhere for we the people. Logic, truth, common sense, that goodwill and decency and that work ethic that makes America work. But that the GOP and the media continue to milk this nonsense is one of the most embarrassing chapters for the Republican Party. Somebody write this down. Kid Rock ain't running for squat. They made it up, and they're running with it, and they should probably stop and focus their resources on someone who can beat the Barbara Boxer, Diane Feinstein, Nancy Pelosi wannabe, Debbie Stabenow. She's bad for Michigan. She's bad for America. And the Republican Party better get somebody in there who can be a status quo crusher like Donald Trump. That's why we took the embarrassment, the embarrassment of the reliably blue state of Michigan, which is not a blue state. There's no blue states in the nation. There's only high crime, Democrat run high crime blue smudges. Every state is a red state. The red states make this country tick. They make this country great. They make this country strong and productive every day. And somebody in Michigan better get in there and keep this getting rid of the embarrassment of a reliably blue state, just like Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. They're not blue states. They're red states with a bunch of manipulative, high crime, blue Democrat smudges that we've got to fix ASAP. So somebody better put their resources together for someone who's actually running for office instead of this nonsense that Kid Rock is going to stop rocking and rolling and run for U.S. Senate. You've got to be kidding me.